here's how I can make this flickering neon text effect here in Photoshop. So this animation tutorial is basically going to be the continuation of the first tutorial where I show you how to create this neon glowing text effect here in Photoshop. So if you want to check out how to make this glowing neon logo, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So the first thing we're going to do here is create some frames. And as you can see from the last tutorial, we made a lot of layers in here. And for example, I'm going to go with the first smart object here and make sure to double click on the thumbnail of the smart object. So this way it's going to open up in a new tab with the logo. So up here at the left, you can see we got two tabs. This one is with the logo and the first tab is with the effect. So we're going to go back to the logo and we're going to mask this layer. Click on the mask and let's go and select the brush tool. Make sure that you're on the black and I'm going to increase the hardness all the way up. And now here I'm going to delete some of the elements. I also going to remove this. And we're going to save this into the original tab with the effects. So let's go to the file and click on save. Now let's go to the original tab with the effects. And now you can see it updated the cup. And now I'm going to go and save this updated frame. And I'm going to go to file, save a copy, read it as 01. This is going to be the first frame and change it to JPEG. Click on save. And I'm going to go back to the tab with the logo. Now I'm going to go and swap the colors from a black to white. So the white is going to be in the top. I'm going to select the brush tool and I'm going to paint back these removed elements basically. And now I'm going to remove some other ones. So I'm going to swap it now from white to black. Let's go with the brush. For example, I'm going to remove this line here and I'm going to remove some of the letters as well. File, save, go back, file save as a copy, 02, JPEG, click on save. And now at least for the last frame, I'm going to go back to the logo and I'm going to swap it to white, color back the whole thing. And I also going to save the original logo composition. So we also have an original neon logo. So this way I got four frames and I'm going to select the one frame where the logo is 100% there. And I'm going to drag and drop into Photoshop. Let's go back into the layer, select the rest of the three and just drag it here. Enter, enter, enter. And I also going to go and select the background, right click, convert smart object. This is going to be the zero zero, the original background. And let's go to window, select timeline, click on create video timeline. And here we got the layers. From here, we're going to need to split the first three layers, excluding the background layer, which is basically the original one. And I'm going to need to cut them in five frames. So five frames is somewhere here. If you cannot see this, then you can go here to the sandal and just bring it out. And now you can see the frames. And now we're at the fifth frame. So make sure to select these three, press and hold shift. And we're going to go and split them. Let's go and delete these long ones. And the original one is basically going to be the longest one. I'm also going to compress it a little bit more so we can see what is going on. So I'm going to select the first three and I'm going to bring it to the fifth frame. So the first frame is going to be the original. And then I'm going to go and select the first two, move it to the 15th frame. And then it's going to be like this original. Then it flickers original and it flickers again. But I'm going to go and move this to the 25th frame. And I'm going to bring this back even more. And I'm going to go to the work area and bring it to one second. So the whole video looks something like this. Let's bring it to the beginning, hit play. And it looks and it flickers something like this. And this is how I make flickering neon logo here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.